Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a bit of a different video because today I'm doing a little vlog of creating a new sewing pattern. So some of you may already know that I have some sewing patterns on my website. The most popular one is the Amy project bag and this is one of the project bags that I made with that pattern. Although the front is a little bit different, I don't have instructions in the pattern for this quilted front. But if you have some sewing experience you could probably figure out how to do it. And then this is the medium size, which is a really nice size for sweaters, shawls, those types of projects. So like I said, this is called the Amy Project Bag, named after Amy from Sex Education. And I was thinking, because I'm now working on another knitting accessory pattern, that that pattern should only be called Maeve. So then we have them together as friends. So we have the Amy Project Bag. The Maeve pattern is going to be for a knitting needle case, but you can of course also use it for other accessories for your knitting or crochet. I have made the pattern yesterday and a little bit today, and I'm going to make two different versions. And they are both going to be quilted and then have different kinds of quilt blocks together. So for the first knitting needle case, this is going to be my main fabric. This is a stonewashed cotton fabric. And then I have one block print and then the yellow one is a vintage cotton. And I think all together they make a really nice combination. Then this pattern is going to have bias binding and I chose this brown. And then I'm going to have a zipper pouch somewhere inside and then I just picked this zipper. So there's a fair mix of colors but I really like that look. And then that is going to be case number one. Then I'm going to be using my favorite type of fiber fill which is a fusible type of fiber fill. And it's called Vliseline H640. And like I said it's fusible so you have one side that looks like this kind of has a dot texture and then the other side that just looks like regular interfacing. So what I've been really enjoying is ironing this on top on the wrong side of the fabric and then on the right side of the fabric I will stitch in a ditch and then you have kind of a seamless or a look that is not quilted because sometimes quilting the whole fabric takes just a lot of time. So those are all of the materials of course my sewing machine also behind me is going to be used and I think that's all, so I'm going to start piecing together the pattern and then, yeah, just bring you along. Now ten years have passed and we're still locked in time I don't take for granted the years that go by Started with a gaze Collected in time Perfectly bound Like your hand fists in mine Lucky to find What we're both looking for In this life My heart is aching But somehow In all the right places You make me feel Like enough I'm ever yours
currently the next day and I've just finished my needle case. It's definitely not my best sewing work. It looks a little bit handmade, if you know what I mean. But it is fine and it's going to be functional. And I do think it turned out very cute. I only made one because the quilting actually took a very long time. I will open it up so you can see. So it consists of six different quilt blocks and this one, the star, it's very cute, but it's extremely time consuming. So I don't think I'm going to keep it in my pattern also because it's not very beginner friendly sewing wise. I also had quite a difficult time making it. And then you may know from my, I think Christmas episodes that I'm not very good at bias tape. So the inside is also not my best work. It definitely annoys me that you can see my brown stitching lines there, but I'm going to pretend that it's not there. And it's a sample, so it's not supposed to be perfect. I'm probably going to make multiple of these, maybe even five different ones. I'm also thinking that I want to do two different sizes. So this is probably going to be the small size. I'm going to have a bigger size. I really like the zipper pouch that I put in here. So you can open it up like this. And of course I added a little tassel. And then I added a little hook in a corner. Which I thought would be nice to put some notions on. Or something else that you want to put there. We'll see how useful it is. It's also the pro of a sample that I can now use it. See what I like, see what I don't like. And then really perfect the pattern. Mm -hmm. 